Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty unfair. It's time to go to act number three and have a couple of conversations before we find out what we want to do. Elliot uh, comes to us. Uh, Elatach, uh, at least you have left your ornate cage for many a turn. Have I thought to meet you and you, your servant, the one who is the silver-haired uh, Abelard, but twice as young, has no favor for the requests of the child of Asuran. Take me to a place where the hearing of others will not steal the words intended for you. While you were mending the wounds of the world left by the Twisted One's attack, I was able to discover no. Not Krushidach's fate, uh, merely traces of it, is a Mu'aran uh, found sanctuary under uh, the broads of the Lilith and uh, forest. So did uh, my other kin find refuge in a system known as Atlas Reach. We must make a journey there with haste before the dangers destroy the witnesses who can show me the way to the lost Krudiark, whose fate remains shrouded in the stars. The knowledge is so the sole threat that may lead uh, me to the truth, Elena. I ask you that uh, your metal-winged ship take me along that threat before it tears under the stain of time and circumstances. All right, give me the coordinates and I shall take you wherever you want to go. Uh, you will? Thank you, Ertanach. Uh, this path indeed takes me to the truth. It will be indebted to you, a rare happening between our kinds. Okay, so we got troubling developments. Wait uh, for news from the, de uh, from the spies and travel to the Atlas system, which I think is where we need to go next. Those are our main quests. Anything else? I think we're good. Just double checking. Companion quests. Yeah, nothing else. Okay, good. Let's move and see what the star map is going to show us. Okay, so let's do a couple of just sanity checks. Foulstone. Anything that we can build? No. Janus. Anything that we can build? No. Dragonos, where we're just coming from. Anything that we can build? No. Viabus, uh, we need to go there uh, and solve whatever problem here by ourselves. And Kiabagama, nothing. Okay, cool. Then, let's take a look at the star map. We have been at every single location. Hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. I was hoping we would find a few new star systems, but apparently that is not the case. Good. Let's deal with the problems of one of our calendar. Oh, yeah, yeah, up here. Oh, no, my bad. Atlassian Reach, fabulous. There is even a connection from over here, but we're going to do that in a second. First, Viabus 6, which is one of our colonies that seems to be in the dire need of help. I wonder also what's happening with all of those lava or uh, burning worlds, because we've been told that there is a secret behind them, but we really haven't figured it out. All right, the world is preparing for a Grok's back race across the central continent. This is entertainment for the rebel and will affect pro uh, the production. All right, let's send a personal representative. The people are stunned by the rogue trader's attention and warmly welcome uh, everything. And do we get a new project? No, unfortunately not. Well, at least they were happy. Good. Now, we got a way to a new system, and that's clearly 
the main uh, the main issue. The other topic I think would be down here uh, with um, down here with uh, footfall. Yep, artificial object footfall. Um, and I think we heard that two of the other rogue traders are kind of at each other's throat. So footfall might be another place to go, but let's do this up here first. Warp traveling. And we're spending two extra points to be able to safely take this route. Chart new routes? Come on, more planets. No. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's see what the Atlassian Reach offers us as a potential system. Maybe I have explored a little bit too much in Act Number 2, and we've already explored everything. Lord Captain, according to our telemetry, we have arrived at the coordinates you specified. The augurs do not register any activity on the surface of the lo uh, local planets, biological or otherwise, but maybe Xenos are using the archaic te uh, technology. Despite this, the augur crew managed to locate a fine signal at the system's edge. According to the data, it's coming from an unidentified vessel drifting at a large gas giant. Irlid says, my kin has been faced with a new threat, uh, scavengers like pirates and something worse, uh, if they were taken prisoner. Alright, let's explore it. I'm begging you, let us uh, go to the shuttle. I feel the threat of fate is there. Okay, we can do that, no problem. But before we're doing it... Ah, five plat steel is not bad. Five plat steel is not bad at all. At the moment it is impossible to remove trophies from cargo since communication with the flagship hasn't been established. Okay, got you. Um, yeah, we're going to set up another extraction. We're at 45, which isn't too bad. Let's go to the asteroids. Lord Captain, there is an unusual cluster of binary asteroids before us, uh, rich in rare materials and valuable minerals. They are moving at a fairly stable orbit, which suggests the possibility of constructing a mining station inside the drift. Oh, okay, cool. Adamantine 12? Oh yeah, sign me up for that. This single-handedly is the most valuable um, adamantine field that we have gotten. Wow! Unfortunately, no further contracts at the moment. Bit of space dust. Lord Captain reporting our void ship has passed through the clouds of cosmic dust un of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the dust part uh, particles were uh, covered with icy shells that had frozen to thick sheets on the void ship's hull, blocking some of the technical vents. It will take some time for the servitors to clear the ice, until then maneuverability will be somewhat reduced. Okay, well... We're getting a couple more trophies. 12, uh, 12 adamantine, that is so good. We're up to 20 adamantine. Fabulous. All right, beginning. I was suggesting there must be some sort of a landing uh, platform there. Um, Avalard, you are staying back and we're taking our taking Argenta. And Earliot is, I think, already set in uh, set in stone. Good. Let's get the team together, and we are doing a little bit, a little something like this: three backline, one front line, two midline. Let's explore the void ship, shall we? 
Your lordship, rogue trader, what brings you to our humble ship? Stop shivering like the leaf of a wind monkey, answer me. Have you been have you seen others like me in the system? If you have, tell me where, when and under what circumstances did your path cross and divert it afterwards. The eyes of the officer widen at the sight of Iliad, his face grows paler than before, unable to utter a word in response. A whirlwind of orange and blue torments the soul. Can you not feel his gusts and air all around him? Its hues are terrifying indeed. I've seen people like this before, afraid of their own shadow. More than I've turned my underlings into this. He has been tortured. Who are you? We, we are... Emperor, forgive me. Interesting. You monkey, Emperor. I'm beginning to think that your kind is eager to step into our snares. You gas sucking the poisoned air each breath scorching your insides with liquid fire every cell in your body is engulfed by maddening pain you hear sounds coming from somewhere away moans of your people the shuffling uh, shuffling of fa bare feet and footsteps slowly getting closer oh yeah mara's eye oh you're going to uh, pay for that yeah what have you done earlier it says hmm are you dissatisfied, my kin? I promised you that I would have been a, a precious craft world survivors. And so will you. I'll take you to them. I might even be there to witness your jubilant reunion. Damn you, I will strangle you, both myself. Seems unlikely, monkey. Both of your fates are now mine to decide. The inferior flesh has betrayed me. You must have punished it poorly, iron monkey. No matter, as your captive, you will learn how to apply the art of torture and make the very thought of your betrayal. Bring uh, in the injectors, the monkeys I promised to Taventius and uh, are among them. I do not want the wretches to move an inch until they are in the hands of the Arc Animator. As for you, you will have to share your par paralyzing dreams too. But I'm going to keep you far too precious uh, to surrender to a madman playing with fire negotiate we can still come to an agreement would you negotiate with a worm or say a pet after I'm done with your training you will never even think of such insolence again are you enjoying this sensation I had this poison made for you who could have thought that the monkey would uh, one day earn such an honor, a special gift from a dracon? I knew the taste would be exquisite when I added the touch of Drukarian's talent for extinguishing anguish. Well, you are going to suffer for it. However, there will be time for it later. I need you for a purpose. Komarak awaits you. Mandrakes, uh, take them. Leave none behind. Okay, well... Once we awake, you're, you're being shit out of luck because I will very much get you down. This guy has tortured us one too many times or laid trap, uh, traps one too many times. Your consciousness emerges from an ocean of darkness and nightmares as, someone, uh, as someone's powerful hand reaches into the depth and brought you into the light. One of the shadows approaching you, ripping apart the veil of pain, is revealing features that look familiar to you. You're awake, monkey. Our toxin masters spared no efforts to drag uh, you out of the induced dream. I must commend your nightmare weavers. The emanations of fear you excluded in your delirium are worthy of the highest praise. It is time uh, to work for the good of the Cabal, Rogue Trader. Where are the others? I do not know, Rogue Trader. Perhaps they are excludedly suffering 
um, in one of the ch uh, choir choirs of pain, of torment. Perhaps they are rotting in one of the vats. I care little for their fate. As for your little friend in the craft world, oh, you are getting to meet her soon. I bet you cannot wait to look her into the eyes. Uh, being the one who brought uh, you to me, can you? Burn in the scorching light, you filthy Xenos. Looks like you've acquired a taste for pain, monkey. Have it your way then, resist the inevitable. Drukari's gesture is uh, one of the shadows near you, the head f uh, and your head forces backwards. Marzai brings the hand and holding a strange object closer, you manage to make out a translucent, glossy skin. Uh, blurish, pulsating uh, organs beneath and a little head with a serrated jar before the Drukari uh, pushes the larvae into your face. Sensing warmth, the creature springs into motion. Moments later, as you blinkly pokes uh, your, your skin, you discover uh, it discovers your nostrils and rushes forward, stretching the skin and tearing through your mucous membrane. Unbearable pain other, uh, overwhelms you as the larvae begins to force its way through the soft tissue, each of its movement causing a crunching noise. The creature um, greedily bites into your flesh and moves even upward past the bridge of your nose, past your eyes, and then something alien invites your consciousness. Darkness clouds your eyes. The sensation of an alien presence does not relent. This is not a conscious mind, but something primitive, yet unbelievably strong in its uh, unknowable pursuit. It is crawling around your thoughts, scratching them with its sight and changing their shape. Perhaps this is just a bad dream, a calumny of a mind too weak to burden it was made to carry. A stray light dawns at the edge of your perception. That's a lot of corpses, man. You have disappointed us, rogue trader from Valencius. This is for sure a dream. Time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. Oh, that's supposed to be my ship, I see. You are accused of consorting with Nos, betraying the Imperium and neglecting the interests of humankind. <sighs> yep. Definitely a dream. Lots of interesting things here. For your explanations. Come closer. And here comes the principal witness, the rogue trader himself. If uh, uh, the presented evidence was not enough to convince you, his testimony will conclude. You drag this boy into a trial now, expect someone will lend an ear to the lowly heretic testimony. I thought better of you, interrogator Van Kalox. I was very wrong. Enough. Let him speak. The sooner this business is concluded, the better. And let us continue. Uh, Heinrich says, shielded by the powers of the warrants of trade, Theodora Van Valencius more than once allowed herself to openly collaborate with uh, Zenos. She plunged her entire protectorate into apostasy and heresy, including the current rogue trader and went out of her way to prevent the Inquisition and me personally from maintaining order inside the Expanse. Does the rogue trader am admit to fraternizing the, uh, mm, uh, the Xenos? Willpower, succeed. You try to record anything, uh, but all your thoughts keep swirling like a turbulent maelstrom in your, hand, uh, in your head. And thus we break out of it. Rogue trader, are you alright? Or was it the heretical association with Xeno so disruptive that you lost your mind? It was uh, an amusing, uh, but the joke outstated welcome. Uh, it's welcome. It is painfully obvious this heretic uh, is dancing to your tune. His word against mine? Have you lost? Uh, you even unsheathed uh, your blade, uh, Heinrichs. 
You need not to worry, dear Lord Captain. It was uh, my intention to bring up uh, to uh, not my intention to bring up unsupportive claims. We're not an iconoclast. Good. We have cooperated. Cooperation is a double-edged sword. Sometimes you use your partner, sometimes the partner uses you. Lady Theodora used uh, him to undermine the standings of the Imperium in the Expanse. At this point, the Tribunal probably wants to know what the true intentions of the Valencian dynasty are. The rogue trader claims he has been waging war against the Drukhari, except is it really war or was it carefully staged performance? Enough of this. K. Morak, do not try to squeeze between the stands of the web. Monke, do what you were brought here for. Are you really saying you were at the war with the Drukhari and it was not a hoax? Then how did you and your foolish subjects uh, coordinate the enemy ships every time? No, only the Drukhari could do it. And even then, only a few. This means you were in collusion with them. Bullheaded stubbornness does not benefit a man of your pedigree, rogue trader. But since you are decided to deny everything, I will summon another witness. I'm sure everybody will find it interesting to explore the sordid story from another angle. You're lit. Uh, if the court desires, my speech will run like a river uh, and wash away your doubts. An entire uh, craft's world vanished among the stars, and only clues of their fate are resting in the hands of monkeys. That is uh, when I was beginning to suspect that he had uh, something to do with the misfortune that has befallen uh, the Kruderak. Uh, do not be deceived by his breed. Uh, there is a cunning predator lurking behind the fluttering, fragile butterfly wings. All are embodied in a single monkey. However, it's hard to uh, to believe. However, uh, the uh, thread that bounds uh, our path. In the moment, I realized the monkey's involvement in the disappearance of my home. Uh, to flee the rogue trader, I tracked down and eliminated uh, his chief tracker, who was uh, pursued to our kin uh, in this part of the galaxy for many years. Uh, and thus, I earned clemency before the court. So Achilles does uh, not simply vanish, you help him disappear. And yet, um, he says you have only yourself to blame. An agent who cannot recognize an impedent threat is useless. Good, is this all you got? I expected a better uh, performance. You useless, arrogant, soon to be dead, monkey. The trial is almost complete, and when your judgment is pronounced, I will gut you, fill your bowels with uh, flesh-eating worms, and uh, drag you through the streets. Enough, says uh, the Inquisitor. I find it unfortunate that you can... Uh, mm, succeed on two will saves and still need to go through all of that would be cool if we could have just snapped out of it after the spell lifted staggering pain pierces your body's darkness clouds your vision and nausea creeps up your throat you manage to forget soon reminds you that you are still alive archon narzike a de uh, dracon of the couple of reaving tempests has been cast down by his own inaptitude in an attempt to take part uh, in the thrillion R. Kellenaral. Never did I think that my eyes were destined to behold the greatest disgrace for a dark one, a trueborn humbled by a lowly creature before the Count of Archons. Irlid absorbs every word, occasionally wincing in pain. Looking at the Drukhari, one half is hidden behind a golden mask. The Xenos um, elaborates, uh, elaborate armor is decorated with skulls. Look at Marzai. Uh, there's genuine terrors in his gaze, but the face remi remains impassioned and calm. Um, at one point, he catches your eye. You can still, uh, clearly see him lusting for your blood. 
and then we're looking at the female Drukhari and have no idea what uh, they are. With the greatest respect, mighty Nazarakai, Archon of the Cabal of the Black Heart, first among the chosen, voice of the Overlord, yada yada yada. The Council of Archons has heard enough platitudes. Drakon uh, Maras Zai, and no longer wishes to. Sly intrigues ruthless chill to jagged eyes, says this newcomer. Of a vitriol, Verbrus, the cut and thrust keep the time with fate's own Machinavia's grave, uh, but whose deft footwork lead to be naught but dust, while from the brutal finish no one can save. This play the puppet master granted me through murky stalls a path of livery. The great puppet master has invited you to this chamber, no matter. You may be our guest, Arabinenian, but you are merely a spectator of this performance. Do not interfere. A shadow in the shadows will I be. The bright uh, Morley holo suit and the mask hiding uh, the owner's face, the graceful subtle movements. Before you stands a harlequin, another representative of the multifaceted Aldari race. Uh, the Xenos catches your eye and nods for a moment uh, the play of shadows and the mask appears to twist an expression of mischievous grin. Uh, you recall that you've heard many gruesome tales about the atrocities of the Drukhari. The cruelest and vilest always involves Asdrubian Vact, uh, the Archon of the Cabal and the Black Heart, the Supreme Overlord of the Komarak, and the most dangerous of all of the Dark Kin. We're listening to the conversation. It has been a long time since the Obsidian Court last saw such entertain and spectacle. The accusations flung at the Archon's humor series may be serious, but I see no reason to attempt to delve into their substance. I... The arena will make uh, you answer for this insult to the court. The arena will strip you of your titles, your skin, and the contender's blow will break your bones and your pride. Nothing but blood and suffering will wash away the shame the Dracos has brought upon himself. With a hiss of rage, Marasai draws his blade, preparing to fight back. Let us return, Imiraris. It is how you treat the hospitality of the Komarath Arabenenian. Ar I thought your words were worth more. You insult me by interrupting the trial again. You, Archon, speak uh, just to rebuke. In truth, fades, melodies, insults, fantastic have entrapped me in here. And while I hear them play, I could not keep my lips from grinning wide. Here comes the hour for shadows to retreat to where the curtain waits to rise. The laugh with no beginning now sends forth the call. I just understood Arena and that Iliad and Marasan are having a deep hatred for one another. That's good, but we're knee deep into Xenos dealings here. The words of an impenetrable uh, haze, warm pain, you lie motionless, no you rest, in a murky glow slowly dissolving into nothing is something, you re uh, your re uh, repose is troubling you by unpleasant and persistent tremors coming from the place where your legs used to be, you do your best to ignore them. Away you vulture, this is not your prey. From this phantasmagoria retreat and defty sees my merchant vagabond. The puppet master strings left dancing again. Rise up, take your place, and dance. Yeah, that's very cute. Cute. The spark ignites in the darkness. An ugly image of reality around you assaults your retina. You can feel your body again and realize you're filled with pain. Your shoulder is sore from an injection. Rogue trader Saiken, help. Your legs require direction, merchant mine, therefore address your pleas to them, not me. 
Their thirst for dancing may yet spur them on. Every single inch of your body is suffering. Look around. Surrounded by the dead, numerous corpses, mutilated bodies. Humans, Drukhari and other Xenos unfamiliar to you like lie motionless. Look at the rescuer. Um, the stranger, your eyes refuse to focus on the blurry figure. Your mind empathically refuses to continue for every moment of concentration causes you suffering. Where am I? Among the shadows of the wings you lie where taut are pulled at the puppet's master strings. My companions? Not here, their roles have been decided now. But if you play your part, perhaps uh, the plot will draw you back together or to doom. We got a gift beyond the grave. An unremarkable pistol. This overtures in verse uh, the final lines. The merchant's time to treat the boards has come. Embark you upon your pilgrimage and take my parting gift. A humble prop. All right. So I can gain the plastic discipline uh, effect. Oh, nice. We permanently gain two deflection. You crack your limbs in tandem. Each uttering line fills your body with his light, giving you strength and driving away the pain as if the pe emperor himself commanded you to rise. You make another attempt. Okay. Find a way to escape the comrade. And find your companions. Holy moly. I tread a path unexplored. Yeah, we don't have awareness, nor do we have anything that would help us. Awareness 6% isn't really cutting it. Your body uh, barely hurts at all, and your body feels surprisingly light. And I got a nice little pistol. Powers That's about unseen. it. Uncover my path. Yeah, our wounds are hurting. I get it. It sucks. But what are you trying to tell me? An enormous eye stares at you through the growing portal. The portal is an eye uh, of something or someone. Bow. Let me guess, we can't get, go through here? Intriguing. of awareness can't really get anything here I mean six percent awareness let's not fool ourselves I tread a path unexplored <sighs> I told you not to let uh, see you there are hunters well, damn butchers my feet all right, the cable warriors don't like us. I get it. But what are we going to do about it? Hmm. So we can either go to here, but that seems like a very narrow slope. And I have no idea just how far their, their gaze is. Let's just slip by here. The world trembles. Couple of shriekers. If I could motivate a couple of you guys to come with me, that would not be too bad. Let 
Yeah, we can't get the loot there. Let's see what the next area holds for us. The pit doesn't necessarily sound like something enjoyable. But maybe we can find our friends. That would be a fine way of dealing with it. Embrace true power. We're continuously having pain. And there are a lot of shriekers here. Intriguing. The Daniel found yourself in is filled with uh, heady, heady smoke and the walls are lined with live, living shadows. The center of attention is the snake like Xenos. He's engaged in a conversation with a pale, harried uh, looking Drukari and pays you no mind, much like everybody else in here. Uh, you've heard of this breed, the Slith. These creatures are often found in the entourage of the Drukari lords, where they serve as bodyguards and champions. Everybody gathered here is armed, uh, so let's observe them. The leader of this gang is powerfully built. His scaly height is reinforced with engraved metal in several spots. His long tail coils around uh, and around, uh, and his snake-like head uh, sways gently from side to side. Uh, the Genos I uh, Xenos is enjoying a state of blissful relaxation. His companion, the gaunt Drukari, looking at him obsequiously. The entire body is adorned with hundreds of emblet steel beads and thousands of red injector marks. Snake like uh, Xenos uh, either fails to notice your presence or simply ignores you. Malice wants you to disappear, pathetic whelp. You are malice, I take it. I am malice. Uh, you are an inconvenience. Get lost, or you'll find your uh, out how malice deals with inconveniences. I require aid. I'm wounded. What makes you think I care? No, don't answer. I don't care. What makes you think that? Um. Step away. I tread a path unexplored. We go, Uh Malice can do what Malice wants. Try to fix the mechanism. I fix the mechanism apparently. Examine the gladiator's wounds. Prevails. And we got ourselves the cranial shunt marked as property of the Astra Militarium is uh, blah blah blah. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay, listen, we got a couple of pistols. We got ourselves a bit of base equipment. Embrace true power. But apparently it hasn't made its way into our inventory. Too bad. The world that was a chance bow. of getting at least some form of armor. Beautiful. Let's no option here to do anything but dealing with Malice. And his name definitely is fitting for creature. Triggers uh, seem to not mind uh, more Powers of this too much. Unseen uncover my path.
All right. The convector has been repaired. Help me. Why should I? The convector fixed already. What's the point in me helping you? The little strength you have left in your body has run out. You collapse on the floor in the darkness that uh, that nearly extinguished. Your mind permanently envelops your vision once more. Fine. Patch up the hummeling. He is proven to be more useful than the rest of you put together. Sensation slowly returns to you. Your body is still in pain, but you're no longer at the brink of death. Your wounds have been crudely closed with metal clamps, and your throat is um, pocketed with injector uh, tracks, as though you have been wearing a neck pillow of needles. The one uh, who renders the first aid uh, to you was certainly not a qualified chir chirurgian, someone who is typically uh, to be permitted by the Ministerium. Thank you for your help. I do not want your things. Humanling, you will earn back every stimulant I spent on you. As soon as you stand up, you are seized by a strange sense of unreality. It is as if you are still there in a wicked dream. You have to make a deliberate effort to hold your thoughts. What? Is your mind magnet giving you trouble? I saw it latch onto your spinal uh, cords when you've been patched up. A fat, well-fed uh, grub it was, with lots of teeth. It's dying now. They have a short lifespan. That means its poison is especially toxic. You lose a touch of reality from time to time. When your body maggot dies, the final dose of poison will uh, make you think your body is not your body at all and then your uh, heart just stop beating. Wonderful! Wonderful! I could have pulled that thing out of you, of course, but I thought, why should I? Consider it a guarantee of your gratitude towards me. When you've earned your healing, I'll release you from it. What do you want from me? Kill for me. Go to the ma uh, mangled sector and find a freak called the Commissar. One of your kind. Spill his guts for me. Do that and you will earn my favor. End in the chasm that counts for a lot. Who is this commissar? A prisoner of the Drukari who thinks too highly of himself. Instead of dying in the arena without any fuss, he's hiding, gathering other slaves of your race around him, making pathetic plans to get his revenge. As many of your kind are, li kind are listening to him, see how many shriekers they have. They used to all come to me, but now they listen to the Commissar. Won't you need a more serious weapon? Prove that uh, you are being useful first. Do this and Malus will see that you have the decent toys to play with, but not before. In the meantime, you can pick something out of the junk pile. All right, I do not want to drag my whole gang into the Mangal sector. The plays will kill off three times more fighters than the Commissar's crew will. That means I need to send an assassin. The Commissar's fighters know my shriekers, but nobody knows you. And besides, you don't have a choice, which means you'll see it through to the end. It's an off-putting place. It's a base uh, of uh, Spire in which we live. Komarak is stitched together from uh, scraps of various dimensions and in the mangled sector that seems uh, starting to rip, space is collapsing in and on itself in an entropic radiation uh, uh, and the entropic radiation is off the scale, spawning all kinds of abominations and the sector itself slowly but surely is turning into nothingness. You'd have to be insane to set a foot into a place like that, insane or an outcast like the Commissar. All right, very well. We're going to do it. Bring me his hat, and in exchange, I will share my toys with you. And if you think of lying to me or running, when you're on the streets, look for a hummeling dressed in red with cocks and a chest face full of misery. See how he how he's dying alone with nobody helping him. Your death will be just the same. Okay, uh, we got the nice mind maggot agony and a crippled leg. The world 
trembles beneath my feet. Well, that's complete and utter, utter junk, but what are we supposed to do? Might as well take some form of weapon. Nice little sniper rifle will do. Fantastic. Find a way to escape Komarath. With no... Alright, the Xenos called uh, Malice promises eight when we're killing a man called Intriguing. the Commissary. And I have no idea where to even start to find this guy. The world I think uh, this is a great place, uh, by the way, uh, to Let's see return the next time when we're continuing with Rogue Trader. And for now, I say thank you and have a good one. Let's hope we can get out of this uh, hellhole because so far it's not looking very, very good. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. And uh, the only way to cure yourself uh, of a potential diseaseous infection like a mind maggot is to click the like button. I'm just telling you in advance. You will thank me later. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye bye.